Hi everyone, welcome back to my segment on building up your apothecary. Um, I love having an apothecary on hand. I like to practice my craft somewhat daily, and by somewhat I mean weekly-ish. Um, but I do have a cabinet, and maybe I'll be brave enough to show everyone one day. Maybe it's really messy and I'm afraid to, but you know what? That is what it is. Today, we're going to make love powder. And love powder is amazing to have on hand because everyone and their dog wants either love spells, luck spells, healing spells, protection, but love is always the top three. So without further ado, let's get into it. So um, got our mortar and pestle. Life doesn't have to be expensive. Please use what you have on hand. I'm just giving you the recipe I have that I know that works. So this thing, bought it at the dollar store for like 15 bucks, so it's fine. Um, the first ingredient that we're going to use is rose petals. Now you're going to love this. Check out these rose petals. Isn't that beautiful? These are mostly red with a little bit of pink. And I know what you're thinking. Those don't look like rose petals, but they are. I used a little coffee grinder to grind them up. Isn't that brilliant? I actually grow my own roses. I live in a temperate area where I grow miniature roses. And so when I'm deadheading them, I pull them all apart, let them dry. And that's what I did, crushed them all up. And I love it. It actually smells very divine, if you like the smell of roses. And the lighter colored ones are actually a little pink one that I had too. I usually try to separate that, but red and pink are good. So we're gonna take a spoonful of that. Throw it in the mortar and pestle. Uh, let's do two. Oh, if we're going to do two, we might as well do three, I suppose. Okay, here we go. Enough. So rose petals, you want to use um, red or pink for the love. Because roses symbolize love, trust, luck, intuition. Um, amazing to have on hand. Like I say, if you have... The opportunity to grow your own um, flowers, do it. It's great and they smell amazing and they can really add to your apothecary. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is lavender. And yes, this is lavender. I have a lavender plant, but I don't, I didn't harvest this one. I, like I said, I live in a temperate climate, so I can actually buy little tiny bags of lavender relatively cheap. And so that's what this is. And again, I put them all in, you can see it's sort of purpley in there. I put it in this little coffee grinder I have. Seriously, amazing, amazing. So if we put three roses, we're gonna do three lavender. Um, lavender you wanna use because it's really good at purifying and calming. Um, and don't you want that in your love life? Something that's just beautiful and calm. Um, it can help release energy blocks from the past, which is good because you don't want to bring your baggage into new love. Um, and it raises vibrations. So who doesn't want, you know, vibrations lifted? The next ingredient we're going to use, you can find on the fine shelves of the grocery store because we're going to add cocoa. I don't want to dump it. It's fries cocoa. Not expensive. So we're going to do three of this. One, two. And you might be asking, chocolate? Cocoa? Why that? Well, my dear friends, cocoa, chocolate, is for love, friendship, and romance. And it's very grounding and prosperity. So if you're thinking of love with someone else or with yourself... Don't you want to be grounded? Don't you want to have friendship and prosperity? Hells yeah, you do. So that's why we do that. So our next one is powdered sugar. And you just, like I said, you buy this at the store too. Not a big deal. One, two. I, I like to do things in threes or fives or sevens or nines. I don't know why. I like numerology. I like the way that all goes with it. So the sugar attraction. You know what? Sugar attracts all sorts of things. And it adds sweetness. Like who doesn't want that? 
So this lovely mixture so far has sugar, cocoa, roses, and lavender for love powder. And now, you know, you don't, you don't need to use this just for finding your soulmate or finding your twin flame or finding your next uh, one night stand because I'm not here to judge, you know, you gotta do what you got to do in life. But it can also be for self-love or love of anybody and anything. It's all about love, man. Don't even worry about it. Um, the final ingredient, piece de resistance, jasmine essential oil. Now, jasmine is love, it's prosperity, it's dreams, and for those of you that may or may not know, it is actually an aphrodisiac. Isn't that exciting? I use a fair amount of this in my work. We're going to do one, two, three drops, because we did three of everything else. Now look, it's very potent, and it smells very, very, very amazing. So what you want to do, that oil isn't going to do anything in there. It's not going to make it clumpy or anything. You're just going to mix it around. That's not helping. I'm just going to go back to using the spoon. So this, my friends, is love powder. Love powder. So what you want to do is you get yourself to the dollar store and you find a container that's fancy to put that in if you like. Or you just use a mason jar or a jam jar. Who cares? This is a jar I got from the dollar store. Cost me a dollar. And start shoveling that baby in there. And then you have yourself some love powder. And you want to say, what are you doing with love powder? What do you do with it? Well, you can dress candles with it. Definitely. You can um, use it as offerings. You can use it in spells. Anywhere that you would need some love. You can go ahead and do that. I don't want to waste any of this, so we're going to see if we can scooch that into there. And don't forget to label your stuff, too. There was a time that I didn't label any of my stuff, and I was like, what the heck is this? I don't even know. So this, my friends, is love powder. Isn't it pretty? I'm just going to stick a label on it and put it in my apothecary, so next time someone asks me or I feel the need I've got to do a love spell um I've got pre-made love powder exciting thanks guys I'll be back again soon with um some more recipes have a good day